Hey, in this video, we're going to take a look at such questions as what is Uniswap in crypto, what is the Uni cryptocurrency, and what's the relation between the two. Crypto is like a video game. The more you progress, the more difficult things get. Therefore, if you're watching this video, chances are that you're already familiar with centralized exchanges and are exploring the realms of decentralized exchange platforms. Well, you're about to face the boss, Uniswap, the largest of all DEXs. Understanding decentralized exchanges is definitely something that tells a crypto newbie apart from someone way more advanced. But understanding Uniswap doesn't have to be difficult, it can be fun. For example, I bet you didn't know what they wanted to name Uniswap before its launch. And that it was none other than Ethereum's own Vitalik who intervened. Welcome to Crypto Finally Explained, the most crypto-friendly educational YouTube channel for actually learning crypto. Here, I finally explain crypto topics using simple animations, visual doodles, and real-life examples, so no matter if you're 5 or 75, you'll be able to understand it. In this video, we're going to address questions that range from what is Uniswap in crypto, and what is the Uni cryptocurrency, to what is Uniswap token used for, and how does Uniswap work in general. After doing so, you'll have a much better understanding of what this DEX is all about. Let's get to it! To kick it off, let's lay the foundation. Uniswap is a prime example of a decentralized exchange, or simply a DEX. So, the answer to the question, is Uniswap an exchange, is a yes. But a certain type of it. We can't go further into this topic without explaining how exchanges differ in general. So, what does a DEX mean, and how is it different from a centralized exchange, or a SEX? A DEX represents a rather radical departure from the conventional centralized exchanges, often referred to as SEXs. Firstly, consider control. When dealing with a centralized exchange, users effectively surrender control of their assets to a central entity. Essentially, their crypto is put into the exchange's wallet. In contrast, DEXs put the power back in users' hands. These assets remain securely in users' wallets until they decide otherwise, giving them autonomy. Privacy is another significant contrast. Centralized exchanges frequently mandate users to undergo thorough KYC or Know Your Customer procedures, which compromise user privacy. DEXs don't do that. They enable trades without revealing the user's identity, safeguarding personal information. When it comes to token listing, centralized exchanges tend to be selective and conservative, favoring well-established cryptocurrencies. DEXs, on the other hand, are the opposite. Put simply, they are much more welcome to smaller projects. Keep in mind, this is a rather surface-level look at DEXs and SEXs, since such complex crypto technologies could not be explained thoroughly in just a few sentences. Therefore, I invite you to check out my channel. I've got separate videos explaining both types of crypto exchanges. But for now, this will suffice to continue with our video and answer the question of what is Uniswap in crypto? Because, as I've already mentioned, when people think about DEXs, they often think of the Uniswap decentralized exchange. So, the Uniswap saga begins with Hayden Adams, a former mechanical engineer at Siemens, with a deep understanding and close ties with the crypto world, particularly Ethereum. The inception of what we today know as Uniswap traces back to an idea suggested by none other than Ethereum's co-founder, Vitalik Buterin, in the year 2016. Vitalik envisioned a decentralized exchange powered by an on-chain automated market maker. Now, this was an idea that was waiting to be successfully developed, and thus, revolutionizing crypto trading. But we can't really tackle the question of what is Uniswap in crypto without explaining what these automated market makers are. So, here's a quick run-through. An automated market maker, or AMM, is a core component of decentralized exchanges. Think of it as a smart contract-based system that enables users to trade cryptocurrencies directly within liquidity pools without relying on traditional order books. To understand their function, let's rely on an analogy. Imagine you're at a restaurant. Usually, a waiter would take your order and inform the kitchen staff about what to prepare next. Now, the role that the waiter plays here is just like the one of an automated market maker. An AMM automatically sets exchange rates and connects the two parties of a deal, the one who wants to acquire some crypto and the one who wants to sell it. So, a decentralized exchange powered by an on-chain AMM was an idea waiting to be turned into reality and revolutionize crypto trading. Fast forward to the subsequent year and the wheels of innovation began to turn as Hayden Adams embarked on the task of bringing Vitalik's concept to life. To accelerate the development of Uniswap, the Ethereum Foundation extended a crucial grant of $100,000. This grant served as a cornerstone for Uniswap's journey, attracting additional support in the form of multiple grants from various sources. The funding made it possible to create a mechanism that would actually solve even more problems that were present at the time in the crypto industry. For example, centralized exchanges had long dominated the crypto landscape, yet they suffer from issues such as trading restrictions, significant lack of transparency, or regulatory problems. 
So, if developed successfully, Uniswap promised to be quite a game changer. And the pivotal moment arrived in November of 2018, when Uniswap made its official debut, entering the cryptocurrency arena. Oh, before we move on to the question of how does Uniswap work, there's one more intriguing tidbit about Uniswap's journey that needs to be mentioned. Its name. Hayden initially considered naming it Unipeg. However, Vitalik intervened, suggesting the name Uniswap. And so, this is how the Uniswap we know today came into being. Alright, this brings us to another chapter in which we'll address the questions of what is the Uniswap token and what is it used for. But to answer these questions, we should take a look at another crypto concept, liquidity pools. In the broader cryptocurrency context, liquidity pools are mechanisms that facilitate trading by providing a reserve of assets for buyers and sellers. These pools consist of pairs of tokens or assets and users contribute their funds to them, often in equal value ratios, to enable trading. This way, it makes it possible for crypto trades to take place. Imagine trying to exchange some Ethereum for altcoins. The trade can only take place if that particular amount of that particular crypto is actually stored in the exchange's liquidity pool. If you feel like learning more about liquidity pools, I invite you to watch a video I made about them. Uniswap is only possible because their liquidity pool is fully in operation. But where do the assets that form their liquidity pool actually come from? Well, from liquidity providers. Liquidity providers are those who decide to contribute their crypto to liquidity pools on the Uniswap decentralized exchange. These providers deposit pairs of tokens into the pools, maintaining a specific ratio between the two assets. But why do people choose to become liquidity providers? Because it's a way of earning some passive income. In return for their contributions, liquidity providers earn a portion of the trading fees generated within the pool, incentivizing them to provide liquidity to the platform. These rewards come in the shape of Uniswap's native token, UNI. As I've just mentioned, this incentivizes users to provide liquidity, which, in turn, enhances the overall liquidity and efficiency of the platform. But incentivizing liquidity providers is not the only role that UNI plays. So, what is the UNI token all about? UNI is the native Uniswap's governance token, and it plays a central and multifaceted role in its ecosystem. UNI token holders have the power to participate in the governance of Uniswap. They can propose and vote on changes, upgrades, and improvements to what Uniswap looks and feels like. So, as you can see, the decentralized nature of a decentralized exchange applies to its governance model as well. In addition to that, UNI tokens can be used to pay for transaction fees on the Uniswap platform. This adds a practical utility to UNI tokens, as users can use them for everyday interactions with the platform. And finally, UNI tokens contribute to financing the development and growth of Uniswap. A portion of the protocol fee, if activated, is directed to a Uniswap fund for future development initiatives. UNI holders have a say in whether this fee should be activated or not, ensuring ongoing innovation and improvement. It's like paying taxes, but voluntarily. So, this answers the question of what is UNI in crypto. But what about its tokenomics? UNI tokens were initially distributed through an airdrop to individuals who had traded on Uniswap prior to September of 2020, providing an inclusive way to distribute tokens to early users and contributors. By the way, if you feel like learning more about airdrops, check out my channel. I've got a video about them. Back to the topic. What concerns the token's total supply, Uniswap minted a total of 1 billion UNI tokens, which are gradually unlocked over a period of four years to ensure a controlled release and price stability. The initial distribution allocated 60% to the community, 21.51% to the team, 17.8% to investors, and 0.69% to advisors. Team members, investors, and advisors have a four-year vesting period. This means that their funds are locked and are not possible to be withdrawn immediately. This signaled a commitment on the receiver side to the project's long-term success. Uniswap really didn't mess around when it came to their long-term plan. They have shown growth, improvements, and active involvement in dealing with problems that occurred throughout their journey. For example, Uniswap has introduced their own Uniswap exchange app. It's called Uniswap Wallet, and you can dive straight into the depths of DeFi on your phone. Uniswap evolved by improving the platform itself as well. Throughout the years, three different versions of Uniswap have been introduced to the public. Uniswap V1 was introduced on November 2nd of 2018 as the first version of the Uniswap Decentralized Exchange. Soon, on May 18th of 2020, Uniswap V2 was launched, introducing several new features and improvements. Finally, Uniswap V3 was officially deployed on May 5th of 2021, bringing significant changes to the protocol, including such features as concentrated liquidity and multiple fee tiers. This brings us to the end of the video. We have answered such questions as what is Uniswap in crypto and what is Uniswap used for in general. Throughout the video, we've explored the past and present of Uniswap, the most popular of all decentralized exchanges. 
understanding the inner workings of it will give you the advantage of actually having this DEX as an option when it comes to making the right crypto decision. Do you have any experience with Uniswap? Or maybe you prefer some other DEX or even a SEX? Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. And if you found this video valuable, be sure to press those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.